Hi and welcome to another Instrument Choice Support video. In this video we will run through the functions and setup options for the LM8102 5-in-1 meter. To get started you first need to insert the six included AA batteries. To do so, unscrew the rear battery compartment cover, insert the batteries and reinstall and screw the lid into place. Press the power button to turn on. Select the function button to move between each of the parameters. Here we'll run through each parameter and its options. The first is air velocity measurement. Press the unit slash zero button to select the desired unit. Select between foot per minute, meters per second, kilometers per hour, miles per hour and knots. Then all you need to do is face the anemometer to the source of the wind. Next is a sound level measurement. This is displayed in decibels. Once there are figures on the screen, you can point the sound probe at the source and take a reading. This screen is for temperature measurement using the thermocouple. To use, you will need a Type K thermocouple. This can be inserted on the base of the device. Pressing function again brings you to the light measurement screen. Select between measurements in lux or foot candles by pressing the lux slash FT button. The display is showing the current lighting value. Pressing function one last time gives a relative humidity and temperature reading. To change between Celsius and Fahrenheit, press the C slash F button. The data record function records and displays the maximum and minimum reading values. Start the record function by pressing the max slash min button once. The REC icon will display on the screen. You can now take your reading. When REC is displayed on the screen, press the max slash min button to display the maximum value and a second time to display the minimum value. If you wish to clear the minimum and maximum values, press the hold button. Press max slash min button to return to normal measurement mode. And that's the functions and setup options of the LM8102 5-in-1 meter. For a video on how to calibrate sound, check out the link in the video description. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.